I used to think the A7 ring binder was the most compact, the most portable type of ring binder that you can carry, but then this mini three ring binder came around. However, if you more so want to journal just a basic overview of your day, then you potentially might want to stick with the A7 ring binder. Hey kittens, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be comparing my A7 ring binder to my mini three ring binder so you guys can see which one is the better compact binder journal. So be sure to keep watching and let's get started. So first we're gonna be looking at the overall sizes of both of these ring binders. So the A7 ring binder measures a five and a half inches in height by four and a half inches in width. And then the mini three ring binder measures four and one eighth inches in height by three and a half inches in width. So looking at them side by side, you can see that they're almost the same width, but you really see more of a difference when it comes to the height. And y'all, can we just take a moment to address how cute this mini three ring binder is? Oh my gosh, y'all, super cute. But yes, y'all also notice that the A7 binder has six rings and the mini binder has three rings. So when it comes to the paper, the holes are gonna be in different places for both and also the sizes of the paper as well is going to vary. So looking at them side by side, again, you can see that the mini three ring binder paper size is smaller than the A7 ring binder. So the next thing I wanted to cover with you guys is the pricing. So FYI, if y'all didn't know, I actually got both of these ring binders from an Etsy shop called Of Cloud, and they will be linked down below. So for my A7 ring binder, that one actually cost me around $18, including shipping and tax and then the mini three ring binder cost me about $22 including shipping and tax luckily though both came in a set so for the a7 ring binder I actually got refill paper to go along with it I have a little pouch I could put in the back a ruler different stickers and then for the mini three ring binder this one actually came with a cute little beaded keychain as well as some stickers some blank refill paper and other different deco items I can use so the next thing I wanted to compare is the functionality of both of these binders and y'all for real I used to think the a7 ring binder was the most compact the most portable type of ring binder that you can carry but then this mini three ring binder came around and I was like I mean come on okay she's literally the cutest pocket size of binder that I have seen I mean I just can't put her down okay she's just super cute y'all so when it comes to the functionality I feel like if you are more so of a person that likes to do journal spreads with literally just a picture or maybe just one quote or two quotes on the journal spread then the mini three ring binder may be the best option for you however if you more so want to journal just a basic overview of your day or you want to add a couple deco items such as washi tape and stickers then you potentially might want to stick with the a7 ring binder but I just want y'all to just keep in mind it literally just depends on what you want to use your ring binder for but just keep in mind if you literally want to journal about your day in the mini three ring binder you can go right on ahead and do that y'all if you you literally just want to use pictures or quotes in your a7 ring binder you can actually do that as well so next we're going to cover the style options for both binders so y'all to my surprise the mini three ring binder in my opinion has way more binder options some have flowers on the cover some have a zipper closure some you can put different pics or polkos as the cover and even the binder rings come in different colors y'all like what excuse me the binder rings come in different colors ma'am sign me up okay so when it comes to the A7 ring binder, I didn't see as many binder options. However, they do have some of the same designs such as glitter on the cover and covers that have the sunflower design. So just shop around y'all, see what you like, see what's available, and then you can determine potentially which binder you would like. So the next thing that I wanted to cover with you guys is the paper options for both binders. So y'all, I personally think there's not a huge amount of paper options for either binder. However, I did look at different stores. So if you want a store that has both options, I would say check out AliExpress. They do have options for the A7 ring binder as well well as a mini three ring binder. However, there's a website called Mochi Things and they have refill paper specifically for the mini three ring binder and they come in different styles such as planning refill sheets, they have photo card inserts and they even have some with really cute pictures on them such as animals or gummy bears. 
So for the A7 ring binder, Luca Lab has a nice variety of A7 refill paper. So some of their paper has grids on it or it can be in different colors. And they also have some in a calendar style. So kittens, and don't be afraid to just shop around, see what's out there, see what different stores are selling certain binder refill options. And if you guys have not checked out my where to buy refill paper video, I would encourage you guys to check that out. Also y'all, when it comes down to it, it really just depends on what you're looking for in a ring binder as well as the size that you are most comfortable with so literally there's no right or wrong answer when it comes to what's the best ring binder so for me again y'all my collection of ring binders is growing okay now I have five different ring binders okay so clearly I just love them all I think they are all cute I think you can do different things depending on the sizes and a lot of them you can do some of the same things so again I hope that this video was helpful to you guys so if you guys are looking for any more ring binder inspo be sure to check out my six ring binder playlist and if you guys have not subscribed yet please subscribe below I love you all and thank you for watching adios kittens